Right, stand by now for a tremendous game of cricket at Edgbaston between Pakistan and the West Indies, a match which Pakistan simply had to win if they were to stay alive in this competition. Without Asif Iqbal in hospital and led by Majid, they won the toss and off their allotted 60 overs, they made 266, the same score as England made here, but for seven wickets. There were 50s from Majid, from Mushtaq, from Wazim Raja, and a lively, spirited, promising 25 from the 17-year-old Mian Dad. So West Indies faced with a very real challenge. The commentators are Richie Benno and Dennis Compton, and we pick up the tale in the first over of their innings. It's Asif Masood, the bowler, the batsman is Hampshire's Gordon Greenwich, and the score is one for none. Masood to Greenwich, and he's hooked that away. That's four runs. Beautiful stroke, but very, very bad ball from Masood. And now it's Safraz to Greenwich. And he's a caught it out. Yes, what a wonderful start for Pakistan. And a very good delivery from Safraz Haz. Safraz, it lifted off a length and moved away from the batsman. Greenwich has had a pretty bad time this summer. Out for four. Masood bowling a little on the short side, which he mustn't do on this wicket. Coming in now to bowl to Fredericks. Oh, and that was the near thing there. And it's four runs, an inside edge from Fredericks there that went past the off stump. The sixth over to be bowled now by Safraz. He's bowling to Fredericks. Oh, that must be close. Yes, indeed. A good delivery from Safraz. A really good piece of bowling by this big fellow today. His second wicket in his third over. And what a turn up for Pakistan without their captain, Asif Iqbal, and their fine young all-rounder, Imran Khan. They've made 266, and now they have the West Indies 31 for two. And that should be out. Marjit is under it. Oh, and he puts it down. What a tragedy for Pakistan. Oh, and that is out. Sarpras has done it again. Three wickets in four overs. And no wonder the Pakistanis are rushing him. A great exhibition of bowling in any class of cricket. Clive Lloyd now will face Sarpras. Of that I think. Zimbari. It's four runs to Clive Lloyd, but perilously close to the Pakistan wicketkeeper. Nazir Malik to Clive Lloyd. Now there's a nice firm stroke. No need to chase that. That's four runs. Lloyd just starting to get into stride now, running into double figures and bringing up the West Indian 50. Nazir Malik has to learn that on a pitch like this you never ever bowl short. Nazir to Lloyd. Oh, that's a great shot. Superb stroke. Guided away right off the middle of the bat. And Nazir is proving rather an expensive luxury. There are only the two frontline bowlers in this Pakistan side today. That's Safraz and Asif Masood. Nazir. And he's got him. Can I? Played on. It's remarkable the number of times that's happened. And no wonder they're pleased with Nazir. He's been a bit loose with his bowling, but he suddenly picked up that vital wicket. Bowling to Rowan Can I? Oh, what a great shot again. That's eight runs from an over of variable length. Pave Mia now, bowling to Richards. And he's really struck. Oh, wait a minute, he may be out. Yes, he's caught. Oh, 
very well taken catch at deep long leg off a very short ball from there and the West End is on 99.45 now He's got him caught Leander, that fourth square leg. Not a bad shot from Julian. He timed it crisply, but he hit it in the air, and Leander pulled it down just above the top of his head. And what a great breakthrough that is for Asif Masood, who's tried so hard here today. 145 for six now, and Pakistan right in the box seat again. Very good piece of timing to give Clive Lloyd his half century. And that's well bowled too. And he's given him umpire language and Lloyd doesn't like it. The Pakistan players absolutely delighted. And Lloyd not at all happy standing there. It took umpire language a little while to give the decision. Goes now to Boyce. Bowl him, and that is another inside edge onto the stumps. Boyce not making full contact, and the eighth wicket has gone down. West Indies surely now cannot win. That's been dispatched to the square leg boundary, or behind square very fine sweep by holder there hitting it right in the middle of the bat well, Nazir Malik is uh, preparing now to bowl his last over he has two for 49 from 11 overs it's only allowed 12 balls now to Van Burn Holder safe and if they hurry it'll be four runs in fact they don't have to bother running it it beats the fieldsman into the fence Pakistan leg spinner me and dad bowling to holder Good firm stroke just the single and it brings up the 200 the West Indies are fighting hard here 200 on the board for eight wickets and this partnership has produced 34 runs between holder and Derek Murray Safraz to Holder. Oh, what a great catch by Parvez Mir. A lovely catch away on his right-hand side and high above his head, and this youngster pulled it down. And no wonder he looks pleased. He's playing in his first great international contest, and he may well have taken the catch to win the match. Derek Murray has gone on to 41, 232 for nine. Asif bowls to Murray. A good shot. And that'll be four runs. He should be able to run the four. Certainly Roberts is turning to come back, and they will do it. So that's good running there. pursued to Murray a great shot and four runs that's a lovely stroke from Derek Murray and RC pursued has finished with one for 51 in 12 overs with two overs to go the total moves on to 257 for nine just 10 to win and two overs to go Now, someone out on the field has the thought that Roberts might have a go. They've pushed the field back a bit. Deep square leg and long off has gone out another 30 yards and long on as well. And he's hit it beautifully. Four runs, that's what was needed. He had to decide whether or not to take the risk. And he got away with it. The ball was right in the slot. And West Indies in scenes of tremendous excitement go on to 261 for nine. They need six to win. I think Pakistan will 
allow Roberts the single now and make him take the last over. He's got that away. He's got the single. They won't be able to get two. Wasim Raja, the fieldsman. Not a very good throw. And now 59 overs have gone. And West Indies need five runs to win. 262 for nine. Incredible tension and excitement around this ground. It's been a marvellous game of cricket. Right from the first over of the day. Wasim Raja is the man on whom everything depends for Pakistan. He bowled a number of no balls in the match at Headingley against Australia the other day. And here he is now, faced with the task of keeping West Indies down to five runs from the six deliveries. Wasim Raja to bowl to Andy Roberts. Five runs from five deliveries, and it's no good the West Indies making 267, uh, sorry, 266, because in that case, Pakistan would win on the least number of wickets to fall. Wasim Raja. And he's got to hit the stumps. Oh, and he's missed running him out, and they'll take another run. Wasim Bari, the man who threw to Wasim Raja, he couldn't gather it in, and they took two runs. Two leg buys. So it's 264. Three to win, and there are four balls left. Excitement, certainly in the centre. Zahir, the fieldsman. And almost overthrows there, so... It is now 266. What a great job Andy Roberts has done in this over. The field has got to come in now and stop Roberts taking one more single. And what a marvellous fight back by the West Indies. They were beaten at one stage and now this pair has taken the score from 203 to 266. And there it is. It's the winning run for the West Indies. A great game of cricket and a marvellous win by the West Indians at one stage looking as though they were beaten. And Derek Murray is being trampled by his countrymen there and now being hoisted. And I shouldn't think he's all that happy about it. But a great win for the West Indies. 267 for nine beat Pakistan 266 West Indies now go on to eight points four from the Sri Lanka match and four from today and Pakistan are without a point it was the first world